Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Navy, we're going to be doing a reaction video to the U.S. Navy's latest series, Making a Sailor. Now, I first found out about this series thanks to my boy, JT Suits. What a fam! So be sure to uh, leave a like on this video, make it hot, make it spicy, make it plump, make it thick with three C's, and uh, stuff like that, you know, YouTube-y things. But anyway, I'm just going to do like a little reaction series to this series to kind of give you guys my thoughts on what boot camp's like, what it was like for me, how much it's changed since I went in back in 2010, and uh, we'll just kind of go from there, man. And I got all four of the videos up. At the time it's recording, there's four videos up. And uh, I'm just going to go through them one by one. So if I'm wearing the same shirt in all the videos and you're wondering, like, Andy, change your shirt for fuck's sake. <laughs> That's why. So in any event, guys, let's get into it. All right, here we are, Boot Camp Making a Sailor, Episode 1. Begin. Oh, damn. Chicago O'Hare Airport, man. I remember this distinctly, like, especially being from Ohio. Like, anytime I wanted to go to and from home on leave, I would always go through the O'Hare Airport. It was like a second home to me at some points. Um, and I remember my very first flight was actually to boot camp. Uh, I was out of a Columbus airport to Chicago O'Hare airport. It was like 30 minutes, took like no time at all. <laughs> and then from there, took the bus out to uh, the Great Lakes. So we got Gonzalez, Louisiana. Oh wait, are you going to this? I'll go, I'll go. Right. <laughs> you introduce yourself, I'll introduce myself. Wait, they say Louisiana or uh, Australia? Right. <laughs> Hi, my name's Gabriel Cashett, I'm 18. I'm Simon Cashett and I'm also 18. Uh -huh. We're from Australia, but Australia, we're born Mike. in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and we, we ship out the Navy boot camp. <laughs> <laughs> Man, why don't you all just we join the Australian Navy? Navy. Yes, we are Shit's pretty dope, not gonna lie. Uh, we're not identical, though. Paterno. You get to grow beards. Paterno. Ah, doesn't matter. Yeah. I guess you've always got that best friend next to you. One's got a full head of hair. Yeah, we've never really looks had like a fucking that, so it's sack, be mate. Once we yeah. get assigned to a boat, or if we're not in the same company in boot camp. So... <laughs> my name, my country, my country's name. Um, I haven't been practicing as much as I should, that's for sure. I'm not going to lie about yeah. that. All yeah, the yeah, practicing and stuff <laughs> really for like the seven general, it or the, is the a orders, long general orders, period, um, but then this past month all that kind of stuff. Like, um, did I say seven? So I'm in 11. That, Jesus. Yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it hasn't been that long they since I've been out. now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah you, oh, you, know, right. you don't have to practice like so much. Because you'll learn it when you get to, to boot camp. They're going to drill it in your brain, whether you like it or not. Man, that's some good-ass handwriting, though. You got that doctor handwriting. Yeah, Rachel like you were saying, doctor what else handwriting. What did you say? You can well, like but you can actually read it, though. Like a quick word of wisdom Damn. for everyone to read. Like, what would I put? I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm jealous of this girl's handwriting. Hi, like, my name real. is Rachel. I'm 24 years old. I live in Alexandria, Virginia. Okay. And I'm getting ready to ship off to Navy boot camp. Right on. So I studied French at George Mason. Uh, I was there for four and a GMU. half years. I took a year to study abroad in France. Oh, that's when we were nice. in college, I would have never expected you to go to like the military. Yeah. I really appreciate the group of friends that I have made. Um, I made them at Mason as well. I'm not gonna cry. So I'm crying. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm proud. I'm proud. So she only took a, took a year oh. at George Mason. I don't know. I don't know if she initially going in there and talking. I don't know if she graduated or not. I was a little bit apprehensive. But, Once uh, I walked into the recruiting station that this is something that I, I really yeah. did want to do. Chief Sailor, what is your first general order? Petty yeah. officer, my first general order is to take charge of this post and all government property in view, petty officer. Pop and tall. I like it. I like it. <laughs> no, you don't. I like it. I expect it to be And this recruiting office looks pretty good. Like the one that I, I went to um, because wasn't set up nearly as good. It just looked like an office. Yeah. Go through boot camp. You know? It cannot be that so. hard. Basic training is designed to actually train you, from, break you down from who you are as an individual and lift you up as a team. Yep, yep. I and agree with that 100%. That. You know, that's what and they they, they the said from the beginning. You know, it's meant to break you down I so they can build you back up. my dad come pick me up from You know, and, and, and that's what it's designed for. Like, the, yeah, the, the, the first half of it's yeah, just going to be breaking you down. Bad, guys. And then once so they got you all broken down, next couple of weeks are going to be to build you back up. You see me and think that I'm super and, cool. you know, <laughs> around the halfway points when things are just going to start to get easy. So if you can hang in for, like, the first couple of weeks, you know, after that, it's just, you know, you'll be in the routine and... Does get this It'll just be kind of is what it is. Our and you know, 
So it does set I you up very proud of for that this. sort of, you know, and adventure. You know, same day, different day sort of mentality you get when you're out in the fleet. When it feels like, you know, the days and the weeks and the months just kind of melt together in like a blob. Okay, so we had the, the twins from Louisiana, had the girl from Virginia, and then we got somebody else in Louisiana. Baton Rouge. Oh, right on. Hi, I'm Luis. I'm 19 years oh, old. Oh, yeah. I heard about I this guy from JT. I uh, live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Right on. And I'm about to leave for boot camp. That's pretty cool. Like, I like I like this group uh, of people that they've assembled Baton so Rouge far. My favorite will be downtown. Um, my only you know, me critique as, uh, of it being a is, creative person, uh, I, love I wish they would have gotten the people from the, like, the, or the city. you know, a, a variety of but different places. Because to me, I it feels like they got like three I people from Louisiana. I, I hear laughs and, one and I hear from people Virginia. talking about me and, you know, saying so that he's the guy that's knowing English. if it were me, I'd English probably get people like from like, you know, then, Washington uh, State area, now, I'm about to join the California, Navy, really Texas, excited about it. So, Florida, it so quick. I, I, get someone like, from the Midwest, like from like you. an Illinois or Ohio or <laughs> I mean, Michigan. Two weeks before I got my citizenship, <laughs> type of area. I called my recruiter. Off, and then get recruiter. somebody from and then, uh, like, New England area. You I think know, two like weeks New York, after Virginia, I got my citizenship, I got scored uh, in Maine, at the office. Just to throw people off. So you, it all, whatever. it was a perfect timing. You know, that's, that's my one critique Are of this. Are you going to be sad, happy? I feel like they... Put all their chips in be Louisiana and kind of had one in Virginia Why? just for funsies. Because you know, but be proud. I did a lot of research. You know, well, I, not I, a I do lot, like but a lot I've of done these, some research uh, on um, these what kind of like, like. Uh, uh, stories. I'm not really scared about it. Tell I, everybody, uh, you know, who mindset, these people are, where they come from. Uh, if I go in there thinking that I'm the best. Like is going to higher my standards you know, of what I can do. Their backgrounds are different, so it's I, I'm never, see, I, It didn't hit me back then, but, but now it's starting For me, I just like closer, people from different you know, uh, geographic areas of the U.S. My, um, That's just my main proud about me joining the military. Um, of course, more they are a little bit sad that I'm leaving, but they know it's for the best of me, so yeah. that that makes up for it. And uh, I'm a miss yeah, you guys. Yeah, oh, man. I remember my mom was, oh, so, uh, was so broke oh, up but about me leaving. You, you know, know. said like your mom, I feel so happy. Yeah. And you happy? I'm happy. happy. Whenever we left El Salvador, my my mom left all her family behind. Um, you and I she came here to absolutely you nothing. She, she, it was, she did it all for me, and, and uh, I really consider my, my parents heroes for me. You know, doing that, the huge sacrifice of leaving the whole family behind just to give me and my brothers a better life is something I got to take advantage of. You know, if, I, if I'm living in this beautiful country, I'm going to take advantage of that, and I'm trying to do that the best way I can by joining the military. Yeah, right on, man. Right on. You know, and I, I've seen a lot of people join the military for uh, for citizenship. You know, and uh, you know, it's a it's a beautiful thing. So we're gonna work all night, you know, then we get breakfast. A lot of people who are day. first gen, second gen, fresh off the boat sometimes, making it, man. Hurry up, let's go. Get on the bus. Let's go. That's interesting. They got. Hurry up. Hurry up. Let's go. There. Get on the bus. Go. I don't, re I don't remember if they were there when, when we went to, uh, to Great Lakes. Your bags, all your straps, keep your legs inside. This they might, they might have been clear, just on so the bus. So I can walk up and down the aisle. There'll remember. be no sleeping. It's, There'll be no talking. It's, it's been over eight bus, years, guys. It's, complete so silence. It's, it's been a hot minute for me. Yes, yes, sir, officer. Is that understood? Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say what you I'd like to commend you on your decision to serve this great nation and welcome you to the beginning of your journey in the United States Navy. Uh. Now. You are about to undertake a rigorous and intense training program that has prepared generations of sailors yeah, for service. I've been on these buses before, man. Training. Even had to what take this bus uh, training, when I was leaving camp. TSC Great Lakes no after I graduated from boot camp. Went across the street the for uh, joining the Navy is so much more than just getting training the job. for a couple months, then flew out to San Diego. But we can get that into that in another video. When you get off the bus, you will walk with a purpose. Like you mean to accomplish something tonight. Is that understood? Yes, I am, sir. I wonder who that dude is. I'd like to know like the rates of these uh, these RDCs. I think it'd be kind of interesting. Because, you know, obviously in, in boot camp it don't really matter. 
but I think for some background, I think it'd be kind of kind of cool. So yeah, that was episode one of Making a Sailor, and uh, I'm really liking the series so far. It's it's definitely giving you guys some backstory to these people wondering like what is the reason to to join the military, um, what are their thoughts on what boot camp's going to be like, uh, things like that. Um, like I said. Um, my main critique with the people that they picked was I would have preferred that they had um, more people, especially from different uh, parts of the U.S. Um, I just wish that they had more diversity, you know, get people from the different corners of the U.S. You know, you get your, uh, you know, like your Washington State area, California, Texas, Florida, uh, somewhere in the Midwest, you know, whether it's like Illinois, uh, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, somewhere in there, don't matter. Uh, and then get your uh, your New England in, you know, like maybe like a new someone from New York or uh, Virginia, or even kind of throw us a curveball and give us somebody from Maine. <laughs> Met some pretty interesting people from uh, that part of uh, the states. So, in any event, though. Um, really liking the way it's going on so far. Really got some uh, some solid production value behind it. Um, seems like it's it looks like a real TV show. Like this wouldn't feel out of place just playing on TV. So anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for uh, for the first episode of Making a Sailor. My reaction to it, anyway, for what it's worth. So with that said, this is the Andy Son. Sign for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.